so this one is the wolf stick. It's very simple. You go to the home improvement store and you can get everything. You, or the fabric store where you can get the burlap. Um, you want some fabric that's fun. You don't need burlap. You can use any old towels or anything like that. I use burlap because a lot of, a lot of bite work dogs use burlap and my little girl seems to like that. This is just a length of PVC pipe. This one happened to come with this little thing at the end, but any two to four foot length of PVC pipe. And then you want to get some of this simple rope that you can get at the marine supply or again at your home uh, improvement store. And I always, I recommend cutting a length that's four times as long as your PVC pipe. And then you use a carabiner. Just one of these simple things. And this makes it easy for you to attach different toys to the end. You don't always have to make a little fun thing with this burlap or with towels. You can add any toy as long as you can clip it with the carabiner. All you do is you thread your little thingy through. Just get the whole rope into it all the way down to the end. And then here you want to make a knot. You don't have to make any fancy knots. You ask a man, he might tell you you need a fancy knot for this, but you really don't. Here you go. And then you make a little loop here. And the reason I like to make a little loop is so that you can um, use it, put your hand around it like that. So then I like to make another one here. You can do kind of a double one just to make sure that you get a nice big knot at the end there. There you go. And then you make a knot. Oops, that's good for the carabiner. And now what we get to do is make a fun toy out of burlap. I like to make the last toy I made. I'll show you this one. This one has been well used. And the main thing here is just to make something that's fun for them to chase after. And so you just kind of want to make a bunch of little braids. That's how I made that one. So in this case, I've got the end, the a folded edge this way, and the loose edges this way, and I'm going to cut through the loose edges until about two-thirds of the way through. And I'm going to make at least two braids. And each braid has three little tabs, as you can see. One there. One, two, three. We'll start with that one. Okay. Watch me make this little braid. Just like you're braiding hair. And then once you get to the bottom, you just make a little knot. You could just knot this if you don't know how to braid. So you get this and then put this here. And in this case, I would probably recommend just cutting a simple hole in here. Make sure you just get this carabiner around it. And now you've got a funky, fun, crazy toy.